playing in stereo again as usual. Yep. And uh, today we're going to do a follow-up video for the one we did the Tech Talk on how to play two amps at the same time a couple years ago because um, there seemed to be some a little confusion about maybe you jumped into the middle of the conversation and, and left some... I often do that. I, what I often do because I, 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 I've been, been doing, doing this, this and so many little things to know and I'm used to dealing with very experienced players who've also been doing it and they're the guys that are always asking me questions. So sometimes I leave out like the simplest thing, like how to plug the guitar into the two amps. That's what um, we're going to talk about today? That will, I'll cover that, yeah. Okay. Um, and, and then there's and, those and, boxes and the, they make. The worst thing I'm guilty of is is not even covering the main point of, of <laughs> just assuming you know what the video is about. Like, like if you think I don't know about the radial box and you're going to comment, oh, dude, just plug in. Yeah, come on. The, the whole thing with that is this, that's what this video is about. Okay, those things kill your tone. All right, I'm showing you how to get rid of the hum and correct the phasing without any of that stuff, just plugging in properly. Okay, because what that For stuff the tone does. Purist. That's not, yeah, and, and if you've got like 30 pedals on your board and you don't care about any of that stuff, you're not going to learn anything from me. Okay, you, you don't need me. I, whatever it is you're doing, cool, but it's not, you don't need like, you know, any tips from me on that. Okay, so. You plug this thing into one of those boxes, and it takes your guitar pickup and it puts it into a piece of junk printed circuit board with tiny little traces, garbage jacks all all soldered in China on on a, on a surface mount technology board, right through crappy switches, through transformers to correct phasing. Okay, all that, all and all you had to do was plug in right. All right, so I, I just assume you know what. The video was about is I'm showing you how to do this like like we did before they made that junk that doesn't sound any good anyway okay <clears throat> so that's what this video is about or at least it doesn't meet your standards exactly so the, the starting from the beginning the thing I left out is how to plug the guitar into the amp okay I just assumed you know I'm, I'm dealing with people that already understand that fact but as all have already are always had the noise and this that so you automatically assume you need to buy that product so that you can plug into that all right. Well, you know, uh, the the way to get into two two amps, three. I don't care if you're using ten amps. Once it's more than one, all the stuff I taught you in the other video is the same. That has to happen to each amp except for one. Only one can be truly grounded. The others can be grounded through that. The one of the two ways I showed you over there. Okay, and 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 it's the same with phasing. Okay, now, um, so you know. How do you get? How do you get into? Let's say it's just two amps. How do you get into two amps? Well, the easiest way is with a Y cord. You get a nice quality Y cord. I don't know who makes them. You can get somebody to make it for you. I don't even know because I don't use them anymore. But that'd be the easiest way. Um, how did you do it? The best way is to just take a bud chassis, a metal box, drill three uh, uh, three eighths holes in it, and put three quality switchcraft jacks in it, and wire them all in parallel with good wire and you plug your guitar into any one of them and the other two go out to the other amps. Now if you need to shut one amp off and, the, and leave the other one on or vice versa um, in playing through two amps, um, then, then you're going to have to put some switches in that thing or, 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 or whatever. And it could be, well, you can be doing, say, the Eric Johnson thing. That's my lead amp and this is my dirty rhythm and this is my clean rhythm, you know. And even he won't stand for any of that junk on his board. If you look on his board, he's got little bud boxes that, that Bill probably built for him that, that just, just have a switch in them. And they're, all, they're very passive, and, and he can switch lines, okay? But, um, but I'm talking more for, like, a guy that leaves the amp, both amps on all the time. Real simple. You want to get in Y cord or build a box with three jacks in it, all parallel. That means positive, positive, positive then another quality piece of wire negative to the negative to the negative and you're done you plug this into any one of them and the other two go to the amps okay um, and then uh, of course everything I taught you in the other video about phasing and f f why not flip the speaker if you got two amps that are out of phase they're real oddball amps and the speakers are out of phase if you flip the speaker you haven't heard the tone at all it's just a passive thing you haven't put your guitar through some junk you know because bad enough you got your guitar through this kind of junk okay this is one of the worst offenders I've found recently because it's a great sounding pedal. Yeah, when I thought you, you like it, that thing. I do, but when you shut it off, it's horrible. 
it's it's just disgraceful what it does to your signal. Okay. Oh, but it's true bypass, right? Well, true bypass doesn't mean any. What it doesn't mean anything is true. Okay. The word is means a certain thing. It means that there's nothing hooked to that circuit board when that switch is off. Okay. So you say, well, well, how could that change the sound then? If I went in here and through that switch and out here, how could it change the sound? Well, because that jack is garbage. Okay. These are junk. There's there's surface mount uh, type jacks on these type of pedals that are that are soldered to the board and then your signal goes through this tiny little hair size trace on the board and then through this switch which mutilates your sound when it goes in and comes out the other end. So when the thing's on, fine, it's fine, it's a great sounding effect and, and you've, you've made the decision to whatever it did to your tone, it's what you want, you want it. but when you shut it off, if it's killing your tone now, what, what do you do? You know, you put this in loopers and then you better hope your looper doesn't kill your tone, or you're just some guy that just has a lot of pedals and you don't care about any of this. And if that's the case, you know, the, my advice is, is useless, you know, uh, <laughs> pretty much. And that's fine. I'm not well, saying there's Bob's anything wrong a tone with that. Purist. But for and, and tone purists, what that video was about was that, not going out and just buying this thing that you plug into and it solves all those problems. I saw one famous guitarist had one of those and he plays through four amps with a big screen in front of them and he's like we just keep pushing buttons until it's quiet and I'm thinking really All right so I mean you know that, and that gives you and this guy's one of the greatest guitar players in the world okay so this gives you an example of why I'm I, I, I screw up like this because I'm dealing with guys like that you know that that ask me for advice and stuff and they don't even know how to do that all right so I forget the simplest thing that 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 you could be a beginner and you don't even know how to plug into two amps all right so I just gave you that all that information and hopefully some of uh, the pedal board advice uh, on, on pedals, like sometimes, a, uh, you know, one of my friends will bring me over a new pedal and go, man, you got to hear this, this pedal's pretty cool. And I'll plug it in, and I won't turn it on, but I'll, and, I'll, and I'll play. And then I'll unplug it, plug around it, and I'll play, and I'll plug it in, and he'll say, you, you haven't even turned it on. Do you know that that's not on? And I go, well, yeah, but it doesn't matter to me yet. First, I want to know what this pedal does when it's off. To me, that's more important because it can't stay plugged in. If it kills your tone when it's like off. Like that red one there. Yeah, it, it has to be something you use to record a certain track with or whatever. So I, first, I want to know what the pedal is. Is the pedal usable on a board or not? Okay, and if it isn't, it, it'll tell you. Listen, just listen to it. Plug around it because you can plug things in and, and then forget. And then, you know, one day you plug around your whole board and go, whoa, you know. What's wrong with that board? Well, it's a little bit of everything, okay? The added um, up little things that... Right, yeah. And, and well, I'll give you a little head. advice on pedal boards. S just show you that uh, it's not, you know, I don't hate pedal boards. I have a small one too, right? But this is the kind of advice you'll get from me, stuff you, you usually don't get anywhere else because I've been doing this a long time, right? If you know anything about what a Switchcraft quality jack looks like, which is probably not much of those on your pedal board. They're probably even crappier ones, but let's take the best one made, a Switchcraft, okay? And let's take this, okay? This is the end of a chord, all right? The noise just happened. I don't care about the noise, you see, that's noise, okay? But, so, I can ground it and quiet it right here. But that tip makes contact with the end of that jack. If you put a jack on a chord and look where it makes contact, even on the best, there's almost no contact at all. It, this is, it's like a knife shaped where it's making contact, okay? So, so okay, guys like Jimi Hendrix brought pedals in a bag to the, to the show and his roadies laid them out and plugged the cords in, okay? Uh, we did that, we all did this in the old days, right? Now you put them on a board and you plug them in, you leave them in. So you freshly plugged them in each time. Freshly plugged them in each time. What do you think happens to that contact point there, that tiny little knife of a contact point when that thing's been sitting there all week, let alone a month or two months, right? It might not be making as good of contact. Won't make as good a contact. Your board sounds okay some nights, some nights it doesn't. So almost every time or every other time I turn on, right, because I don't have a hundred effects on my board, right, I take each cord and just twist it back and forth in there. Just clean it. Clean the con It's so simple. Once you learn how make to do sure that. Make seated in there good. Yeah, well, it's going to be stay seated in there, but just tr turn it back and forth and clean it. Okay, just go around all your things. Your switches on your on your pedals for like the gig. 
one you haven't used in a long time, turn that switch on and off. The switch has the same kind of crap contacts in it, even the best switch made. Turn it on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. Clean your board. That's It's called cleaning your board. That's what I call it, okay? Uh, I, I have, have people bring me pedal boards here. all the time and go, my board doesn't sound good, whatever, and I'll twist their cords and go try it now. And they go, Whoa, uh, you know? Because you can't leave that thing just plugged in. Oxidization and crap builds up and that little tiny surface contact on there, you know? And another thing I... I you plug your guitar cord then, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you plug it in every time, you know? And the one into the amp. Yeah, right. So in and out. Yeah, and another thing, this... This, that right there, that's not the hum we're talking about, okay? So I don't want to hear a comment about, well, it's still your hum. Yeah, that's single coil hum, that's 60 cycle hum. That has nothing to do with the hum induced by, by two amps versus one amp, okay? And that, that's open so that's circuit hum. what you use okay? the hum bucking pickups for? To if you got, yeah, if you can't handle this, like, like I would never sit right here and play. Okay, even here it's noisy, but uh, the camera's set up here, but see, it, it'll get much quieter over here, you know? But you really shouldn't be sitting there with your volume open unless you're, um, you know, playing nothing but cowboy chords, you know. But any, so anyway, <laughs> but I mean, I got to remember that, that I got to start from the beginning here. You know, yeah, you, no, you don't, don't leave your volume open. So for 60 cycle hum, you know, I mean, you know, I see so many people go, I can't stand that. They're on my guitar hums and I'm thinking. We just stand in the right place then, you know? But what are you buying a product for? Just stand over there. It doesn't hum anymore. That's why, that's like, well, like <laughs> when, when um, who was it, Eric Johnson, we were watching that video the other day, and he walked up to the amp and faced the amp because he was trying to get that. No, no, that's feedback. That's oh, feedback. Oh, that's a different thing. Okay. Different I, thing. I don't understand any of this yeah. stuff. I just saw what I saw. Full different thing. But anyway, part two of playing through two amps or more is, was how to actually plug in because... So How I got to a, plug a, in your amp. A lot of comments on that. And a lot of people think I don't know what that box is and this three or four companies making them. I know all about them. I know what they are. And that's not advice I'm going to give you, okay, to go buy that product <laughs> to do something you could do by just plugging the power cords into the wall properly, okay, and, and, and so on and so forth. So. And you also covered cleaning your pedal board, which was... That was a bonus. It's a little bonus topic. A little bonus cleaning topic. Cleaning your pedal board. Okay, so you're done? Yep. Bye-bye. Peace out. Thank you.